What is up everybody? It is the Saint Tub back with another video and today we will be discussing kind of what I think and what Alvin Kamara's uh, contract, what I think he should be paid, his market value, and a whole lot of stuff like that. What inspired me to make this video was a lot of people were speculating and I think even Alvin was speculating that he is going to be paid after the releasing of a Larry Warford if you saw his Instagram he made a post and he was kind of like, like that little face. Like, so I think that what this is going to be is they're going to pay him with that money. But I've also seen reports saying that the New Orleans Saints are not done with free agency and they are going to sign someone by this Friday. So a lot of exciting stuff. But without further ado, let's get into Alvin Kamara's contract. Right now, the New Orleans Saints have Alvin Kamara on a bargain of a deal since he was a third-round pick. And it's four years, $3.8 million, I want to say. And it is the 50 something value for a running back when he is easily a top-10 running back. So this is the year that we have to pay Alvin Kamara. And... To be honest, we have a lot of other people we need to pay. Now, I love Alvin Kamara. I want to bring him back. I think he is a great addition to this team. I think he'll be a great running back for years to come. But in my eyes, this is my opinion, Ryan Ramchek is the most important free agent we need to bring back in the next two years. Alvin's this year. He's next year since we have the fifth-year option on him and Lattimore. I just feel like he is the best at his position, and you will get no one better than Ryan Ramchek. I think that you have to pay him whatever he wants. He makes this offensive line so good, and he is so talented, and he can protect whatever quarterback we have for years to come. Um, I also think Marshawn Lattimore is a very, very talented corner. I would love to bring him back. The way I value Lattimore is a little bit above Kamara, and it has nothing to do with talent at all. It has everything to do with the running back position is very expandable. If you think about it, a lot of the best running backs in the league right now are still on their rookie deals. Nick Chubb, still on his rookie deal. Saquon Barkley, still on his rookie deal. McCaffrey was just on his rookie deal. Just got signed off. Leonard Fournette, still on his rookie deal. Dalvin Cook, still on his rookie deal. Tons of guys are coming into the league at the running back position and putting up great numbers and being great assets to their team. Now, Alva Kamara is one of the elite running backs in the league. So we should pay him. If he wants to come back, we should go after him because he's a great part of this team and he's a great running back. But does that mean we splurge all of our money at him? No. This is where it gets kind of tricky, pinpointing his value. So first, I'm going to go over the top 10 running backs in the um, salary-wise salary in the league. These are not the top 10 running backs. Christian McCaffrey, number one after that mega deal. Ezekiel Elliott, Le'Veon Bell, David Johnson, Derrick Henry, Kenyon Drake, Melvin Gordon, Saquon Barkley, Leonard Fournette, and Austin Eckler. And you look at that list, and he is better than most of those running backs on there. But like I said, a lot of running backs that are tearing up the league are still on their rookie deals. Dalvin Cook is going to be an unrestricted free agent. Derrick Henry is going to be an unrestricted free agent. Leonard Fournette is going to be an unrestricted free agent. Actually, they may be restricted. I'm pretty sure. But they're all free agents. There's so much talent at the running back position in the NFL. And there's always guys coming in from the draft. So if we do lose Alvin, I have 100% confidence that we'll be able to find someone to replace him. Now, what would I pay Alvin? Like I said... I want Marcus Williams. I didn't say Marcus Williams earlier, but I want Ryan Ramchek back as soon. I as I would pay him now. No, I wouldn't pay him now. I would keep that bargain of a deal. But I would pay. I value those guys. We gotta pay them, and I got. I'm keeping that in mind. So, I am thinking about it like this. Yes, he's very good. I'd love to have him back, but there's always new and good running backs coming into the league. So I would offer Alvin a four-year, 
38, 30, 35 to 38 million dollar deal. It's about 8 million per deal. Gives him in that elite running back range, but it gives us a little bit of that team friendly action. And that's kind of it. And probably a little bit of a signing bonus, but it would probably be factored in to make it under 40 million because I don't want to, I'm not paying him above that $10 million range. 9 million, I can. Get behind it, but it wouldn't be my favorite because we got Marcus, we got Laddie, we got Ramcheck, we got Tehran, I think, in a couple, couple, couple years to bring back. We've got a lot of guys to bring back. And it's just running backs are so expandable. And the thing is, our offensive line is so good, you could put someone shit back there and we'd be good. Latavius Murray was like a career fringe guy like, fringe starter for the Minnesota Vikings, and he balled the fuck out. He had multiple 100-yard rushing games, I believe. I know he at least had one. I'm pretty sure he had multiple, like, 90%. I just woke up, okay? But he is a fringe starter with the Minnesota Vikings and a beast with us, and that's because we have the one of the best offensive lines in the league, and we've got to keep that offensive line, and that starts with Ryan Ramchek, the best right tackle in the league. Yeah, I finally said it. He's the best at what he does. Now, I was shocked to see Alvin's market value. I was blown away. If we have to pay him this, I'm sorry, Alvin. I, 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 as a, if I was a GM, I couldn't do it. I, I, that's just me. But I went to sportsrack.com because I know they have a little feature called market value. And they estimated his contract at four years, $59 million with an average salary of $14.9 million. Holy balls. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's an elite running back and he deserves to be paid elite running back money. But look at a guy like David Johnson, who's number three right now. He was good, and at the time, no one questioned it because he was really good. And then he got old, and he got injured, and he sucks now. And everyone's like, wow, that contract is so stupid. I'm not saying that's going to happen. What I'm saying is it's a possibility. And paying a running back $14 million a year is absolutely absurd, unless, in my opinion, it's Derrick Henry or Christian McCaffrey. Those are the only two. Zeke is a fringe right there. But Derrick Henry changes the game. He can put a team on his back. Christian McCaffrey is one of the most just... Be he's the best running back in the league, in my opinion, because he can catch and he can run, and he's good at both, and he's insane. To put Alvin at goddamn $14.9 million, we wouldn't be able to sign anyone else. So that market value, in my opinion, I, I, I can't pay him that. It's just way too much. Um, do I want... To be able to pay him that, I would love to be able to pay him that. But we've got tons of guys to bring back. Once again, none of this is a knock on Kamara. I want to bring him back. And I told you, I want to bring him back on a deal that I think is fair and gives him $9 million, eight to $9 million a year. Um, but nothing over that 10 range because we've got our guys to bring back. And I know Mickey Loomis is the cap, um, salary cap wizard. And I know he'll find ways to create salary cap. But... It's going to be hard with all those three guys in 2022. So that's all I'm going to say. And I hope we can pay Kamara. I hope we can bring him back. But Ryan Ramsek, that is my guy. He's so good at what he does. we got to bring him back. Well, that's my little rant for now. If you guys enjoyed this, leave a like. If you have any other video ideas, comment down below. Um, and until next time, guys, I'll see you later.